Welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you some EOPKG commands that you can use on your system. The Solus Package Manager is named EOPKG and as the name suggests, it can be used to download, install and remove packages. Solus has an inbuilt GUI based package manager that is built on top of your EOPKG. And this is fairly straightforward. You can go to updates, installed, search for applications. You can also install third party software, which is not directly packaged by the Solus developers. I believe these are mostly proprietary. Um, yeah. So you can also do all this package management via the terminal. So I'll open my terminal. Let's zoom into this. Should be looking fine, I guess. Now EOPKG must be run with sudo if you are doing anything that involves changing the system files. So let's say you're installing something. In that case, you need to use sudo. Sudo will give administrator privileges to that command. Now the first thing, how to update your system. You can run sudo eopkg update. Actually it's upgrade. Yeah. It will first update the repository and then see which all packages need to be updated. Packages, up, package updates are of two categories. The first one is the security package, which is mostly the system packages that you should not be holding back. Partial updates are not good. The other category is where most of your software will reside. These are the user softwares. Okay, so you can see safety switch forces upgrade of following packages. And these are the system packages, libraries, etc. Below that you have a long list of packages that are to be updated. So the list is very long right now because this is the first update after installation. So I'll hit yes. Actually I'll type yes and press enter. It will download these packages one by one and then install them. I'll be back when the installation has finished. The upgrade has finished. Now we can move on to other commands. We'll get back to update a bit later on. Right now let's see how we can search and install for new software. So I'll clear my terminal. Okay. So let's first search for a software. The command is EOPKG search and then you type name of your software. So let's say I want to install Pywall. It has searched the database and it has given me one search result. First up is the name and then the summary of your package. Now let's say I want to install this software. I'll type sudo. You need sudo this time. Earlier when we searched we did not need sudo because we were not actually changing anything on the system. This time we'll change something, we'll install a new software, we'll need sudo, sudo eopkg install and then name of your software. You can have multiple names over there. Right now I, ha I have only one. You can put multiple names separated by space. We've installed it. Now another interesting thing is that these sub commands, for example, search or install, they have a shorthand version also. So I can write EOPKG SR for search and then name of my package. So let's say I want to search for Linux LTS kernel. Okay, they, they have an LTS kernel too. Instead of the complete search command, I've written SR. This is usually easier to type. We can do the same shorthand with the install command too. sudo EOPKG IT Linux LTS. Okay, so instead of install, I've written IT. Okay, we have installed the Linux LTS kernel too. Another feature is that you can have a dry run. In that scenario, it will not actually install anything or download. It will just tell you that what all commands will be executed. So again, we'll clear this. sudo eopkg IT. I'll put the dash N flag. It's also written as double dash dry dash run. Any one of them will work. They're the same. 
okay so this time it did not actually install it just told me that these packages will be installed if this was not a dry run and the size would be 6.98 mb i can also fetch the packages so the flag is dash f dash f or if you want to write the full thing dash double dash fetch so this will not install the packages this will only download the packages and store it in your cache you can see packages have been downloaded but nothing was installed the next important command is the component install multiple packages can be grouped into a single component so that it is easier to install them with a single command so a very common component that people install is the system devel component i'll just install it quickly eopkg again it and i'll use the dash c flag or double dash component okay double dash component and then name of your component i wrote one name system dot devil and all these packages are categorized under this component so with this one command i can install all these packages i'm not actually going to install them i don't need them next i'll tell you how we remove softwares so let's clear this next i'll tell you how to remove packages this command is remove or rm sudo eopkg either you write remove or you simply write rm and then name of your package ab remove dark table now you have more sub commands with rm there are more sub commands to rm so the first important thing is you can use the dash n or dry run flag as we had earlier with it command sudo eopkg dash n actually first we write rm then dash n dark table so this will give you a dry run it will not actually remove anything you can also use the purge command with rm sudo eopkg rm double dash purge this will remove the configuration files associated with that specific package you can also remove a component the way we install a component all at once we can also remove a component all at once so let's remove a component so i've removed the system dot devel component as you can see it has it, it is removing the all 60 packages at once finally as i said that i'll come back to the update command you can also use a shorthand for update which is up eopkg up instead of update you can just write up and you also have some sub commands so the same dash n for dry run or dash c to update only a specific component system dot devel let's say you want to update only the packages that fall under system dot devel nothing else and you can also if you're short on if you're short on bandwidth for some reason right now you can only update the security packages so security dash only so if you run this it will only update the security packages if you rem remember when i updated my system right now i showed you the category the first up was the security packages it's not much usually 15 20 at most so like you you should be updating your complete system but if for some reason you do not want to update all of that in once you can simply update the security packages only now there are some extra commands with eopkg so let's say eopkg the first one is list installed it will list the packages that you have installed on your system i'll stop this the shorthand for that is li okay the next one is list updates so list dash up actually is upgrades so list doesn't call it update it they call it an upgrade there are no packages to upgrade right now because i upgraded just a few minutes ago but i have a screenshot of this command which i ran before updating i'll go to my pictures folder 
and you can see it shows you a list packages and then the summary you can delete the local eopkg cache to save some space on your system when you update packages or install packages the the archives are stored on your system in the cache so you can use sudo eopkg and then delete cache You also have a shorthand EOPKG space DC. This will delete the cache. You can also see the history of package operations that you've run. So write EOPKG HS or history for the whole thing. Any one of them will work as you know. It will show you all the operations that you've performed. So it shows you in the reverse chronological order. The most recent one being on the top. So most recently I had removed system.devil so all these packages from that component have been listed before that I had installed system.devil I had removed dark table installed dark table you saw that during the video finally you can see the information about a package so let's just see for one your pkg info dark table so it's first telling me Darktable is not installed, the name, summary, description, all that stuff. You can also see the component to which this package belongs to. It can be important. Another thing that how much space it takes and how much download, how much actually the archive size is. So if you're in short on bandwidth, you might want to see this before downloading. If you want to read more about EOPKG commands, you can read up its man page. Open up a terminal type man eopkg and you'll have the manual page over here. You can scroll down, it's about 800 lines I believe. Let's just go to the bottom. Okay, it's 732 lines. So go ahead, feel free to explore. Solus is a great operating system. I'll take my leave.